on Memorial Day. We must remember the men and women who face deadly adversity. In defense of our freedoms. Understanding that at any moment, war could put an end to their hopes and dreams. A risk we all swore with our lives to take. For the hopes and dreams of everyone else. Who would carry on? We must never forget them. Never forget. Never forget. Never, ever forget. Hi, welcome to Revive LA Online Services. Happy Memorial Day weekend, wearing the, my uh, Marine Corps shirt. I serve the Marines. And hello, brothers and sisters, uh, veterans out there. Obviously, uh, since it's Memorial Day weekend, we want to honor those who served and gave up their lives. They sacrificed their lives so that we could live free. My name is Joe Ramirez. Um, my wife and I have a ministry called Revive LA, born and birthed out of Palisades Lutheran Church in Pacific Palisades, California, really beautiful little area out there. And I say that because we're grateful, grateful, grateful that they support us as we continue our Revive LA ministry. Um, but as you can see, we're coming from our living room, church at home. Why? Um, well, if you don't, if you're watching this years from now, hopefully you're watching uh, years from now, we are in the middle of a pandemic. We have a new enemy, a new battle um, on our hands right now, and that is the coronavirus. And so we're left with actually sharing our messages, uh, uh, good news, the good news, uh, doing a lot of encouragement online, which is a beautiful thing. Actually, I'm, I'm going to miss this when we finally come out of this, because we will come out of this. I'm going to miss this, but I also am looking forward to getting together with my fellow brothers and sisters, 
in Christ and, and just everybody else uh, is just celebrating life um, because um, this is just a really, really unusual time. But the title of the message today, what I want to talk about really is the word sacrifice. I also want to um, talk about how sacrifice actually can be a blessing, a blessing for someone else. It can be a blessing uh, for us, maybe sometimes uh, simultaneously. But when it comes to sacrifice, it usually means that we're giving up something, right? Let me read the definition of sacrifice according to the dictionary. And it says here, an act of offering to a deity, something precious, um, the killing of a victim on an altar. That sounds kind of scary. Um, something offered in sacrifice, destruction or surrender of something for the sake of something else, uh, something given up or lost, um, loss of goods sold as a sacrifice, um, a sacrifice uh, like a hit. Um, but I want to concentrate on what it says here. Um, definition 3A says destruction or surrender of something for the sake of something else. Right. So sometimes we sacrifice for the sake of something else. And I don't think that you can give up or you can have a sacrifice without viewing what you're giving up as having value. Right. So we give up something of value. If I'm throwing away the trash and um, yeah, I'm giving it up, that's not really a sacrifice, right? Because I'm not viewing that as valuable, right? It's it's trash. That's why I'm giving it, giving it away. And we have many, many things that we view as valuable, but there are three top, three top, top things that we view as most, most valuable of all time. I mean, most of us, but there are three things and um, I, I'd, I'd like to actually see if I can break it down where these three things um, can be used uh, in, 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 um, as we sacrifice that we can be a blessing to someone else or a blessing uh, uh, to, to, to us. So the number one, uh, not the number one, but uh, the first point, if you can kind of guess, um, is money. Right? Uh, we find money very valuable, right? We use money for uh, to buy us things that, um, uh, 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 that, that keep us going, like food, um, you know, cars, but we find money, money valuable. I want to read uh, uh, a scripture here, uh, Matthew chapter 6, verses 19 through 21. Uh, Do not store up uh, for yourselves treasures on earth, where moths and, and vermin destroy, and where thieves break in and steal, but store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moths and vermins do not destroy and where thieves do not break in and steal. So in other words, we should kind of be doing something with our money. And even if it's a sacrifice, we should be doing something um, with our money. We we often hear of stories where someone passes on and they had no idea that they had so much money in the bank. In fact, I heard uh, about a custodian, a, a janitor uh, out in San Francisco. Um, he had died and, and they later discovered that he had $5 million in the bank. And the state was left with, you know, deciding where it should go. It would have been a lot more, uh, it, would have, it would have been a lot more useful had he been able to uh, use that money in, in a cause that, that he kind of chose versus the state. So when it comes to sacrifice, we can actually be a blessing when we uh, use our money uh, into um, other people's lives. I, I, if you want to even look at it as an investment, um, there are what we, what we the laws of of sowing and reaping and planting and harvesting. Uh, in Old Testament scripture tells us that when we sow in uh, into others, especially with our money, that there's often our harvest. Now we don't always reap um, benefit from that harvest. Usually, sometimes it's uh, somebody else, or maybe sometimes it, it, it is us that we benefit from that harvest when we sow our money into something else. There's a, a blessing that come with the sacrifice of our money. The blessings do eventually come, um, whether it's through for us or, or for somebody else. They call it the laws of planting um, and harvesting and, and uh, sowing and reaping. But the scripture also says here, uh, verse 21, for where your treasure is, there your heart will also be. So how often do you hear like, man, I really support that group or I support that person. Or, oh man, they're really, really great. And yeah, <laughs> there's no money. Uh, when you can part 
ways with your money. Um, really what scripture is telling us here is that actually where your heart is, it usually is um, for where your treasure is, uh, there's your heart. And I'm kind of guilty of that myself. It's like, oh man, I really like that group and, and I know I can give like 20 bucks or $10. Uh, and by the way, this is not a stewardship message. This is not anything about giving. Um, I'm just merely talking about that when it comes to sacrifice and, and we can be using it as, as a blessing that we can actually uh, sacrifice some of our money. Uh, number two, there's something a lot more valuable, something a lot more valuable than money. And that is da -da -da -da, time. Why? Because we can never, ever, 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 ever get time back, right? We can never get back our time. Man has not invented a way to go back in time. So something that's a heck of a lot more uh, valuable than uh, uh, money is time. So when we sacrifice our time, uh, we kind of feel uh, the pain of it when, when, when we're doing this involuntarily. So, so what we do with our time and in, in the form of a blessing could go a long, long, long way. Let me read to you um, scripture here. Let's see. Um, uh, uh, Mark chapter 10, verses 45. For even the Son of Man did not come, in to be, come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. We'll get to that in a second. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, uh, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. So Jesus did not come here, sit on a big high chair and hide all his jewelries and robes and a, and a big crown on the top of his head because he was a king. Um, he didn't come here to, to live that way. He actually came here to serve. He used his time to serve. And in doing so, he was a blessing to others. So when it comes to um, our my little point number two, um, sacrificing our time and it being a blessing, um, one way we can do that is serving others. And the last point that's a lot more valuable when we're talking about sacrifice and what can we sacrifice of you know that that is valuable, um, more valuable than time, more valuable than money, and that is really our life, right? Um, in fact, there is no greater love, Scripture tells us, that we can show for somebody else um, than giving up our own life. And that's why we're actually really expressing our appreciation here uh, during Memorial Day weekend. Uh, and by the way, that's John 15, verses, uh, verse 13. Uh, specifically, let me read to you. Greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You know, I really, really, really didn't appreciate that or understand that. You know, Jesus dying for us until I was in the military and had heard about a story about a private. His name was Private McGinnis. And I've said this over and over. I've told this story over and over again um, about a private who jumped on a grenade and he absorbed the impact. Um, I mean, he screamed, hey, grenade, grenade, grenade. Um, they, they, they didn't hear him, I guess. And um, he jumped on the grenade and he did that. So I sacrificed his life so that the others can live. There's another uh, unfortunate uh, situation out in Florida, uh, Parkland. They call it the Parkland shootings at a school where there was three teachers that actually literally jumped in front of bullets so that the students uh, didn't get shot. I mean, how, uh, you know, I mean, how, I mean, how precious is that where teachers gave their lives for their students so that they can live? What brings us to, 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 to where we are right now, the main point, uh, sacrifice, a, a blessing to others, blessing to ourselves, and that is our Lord and Savior, Jesus. And I didn't really understand it again until I understood this little um, um, this scenario where the guy jumped on a grenade, and that really is explained here in our, in our scripture um, that is probably most um, recited or a lot of people um, um, hear this a lot, whether you're a believer or not, and that is John 3.16. For God so loved the world, he gave his one and only Son, um, so that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. And actually, verse 17 also says, he came here to save the world. He came to save the world, not condemn the world. So he gave up his life. He sacrificed his life so that we could have the opportunity to live, that we receive the blessings of life, live life to the full, and not having to carry around this burden of sin and just pray unto him and ask for forgiveness and everything that we do, 
when it comes to our walk and trying to cleanse ourselves, that we can just, um, this Memorial Day weekend, um, again, understand, just understand that, that the sacrifice that Jesus made was a blessing to us and the sacrifice that um, these people who, who, whether in wartime or whatever situation they were, as we honor veterans who died for us so that we can also live free. So I know, um, as, as a lot of people have said, this is a really, really, um, really uncomfortable time for um, not only the world, but our country. And I, I just know a lot of people that are really getting upset, actually, that they're just going to start doing whatever um, out there uh, because uh, they're asked to stay home and they, they've done it. Um, they, 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 they can't go to work, so they're losing income. Um, just so many other different things. But on, on this particular weekend, um, if we can just kind of put all our anxiety and all of that, um, um, you know, just the, I don't know how I want to say it, all the discomfort that com that it, that's coming with, that comes with having to stay home. Let's put it all aside and just honor those who died for us so that we can be free. And of course, acknowledge and continue to acknowledge and spread the good news that someone out there that loved us so much, loved us so much, it sent their one and only son to die for us so that we can be free. So in your sacrifice of your time, money, and many of us don't have to give up our lives, um, we can view this as a blessing. Amen?